Here we have an annuity. It's a five-year annuity and the payment is $20,000 so we have a series of five $20,000 payments. The catch on this problem is the first payment occurs three years from today. So putting this thing on a timeline So here are our five payments, and the first one is three periods from today. Now, we are asked to find the present value of this annuity. And so we're looking for PV, and that is at time zero. So we're actually going to right here. All right, so we've got these formulas that we use for m many of our time value money calculations, and one of those is the formula for an ordinary annuity. And so that tells us the present value of an ordinary annuity, but it tells us the present value as of one period prior to the first payment. So our out-of-the-box annuity formulas are going to take us to right here on the timeline. So we can calculate a present value of an annuity using the formula, which is the cash flow times an annuity factor, that annuity factor here needs a discount rate of 8% and an exponent here of 5 since there are 5 periods. So we can use this formula but importantly this formula takes us not to times 0 to time but it takes us to time 2. So this is just going to be step 1 in the problem. And So if we go ahead and do those calculations we can see that the present value as of time two is 79,854. And then I'll show um, several digits here just so we can um, eliminate problems with rounding. So that's just step one, right? So that gets us to right here. And so what, is, what does this mean? This, 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 this means that we can rewrite this timeline as such. We can swap out the yellow timeline for the green one. These are equivalent, okay? And so this is super handy here uh, because that moves us straight into a second step. So our second step is going to start with this cash flow and discount it two periods to time zero. And so our step two then is going to be present value at time zero is the present value at time two discounted two periods, right? Because we're taking it back one, two periods to time zero. And that's going to give us the present value as of today. So the answer to this problem is 68,462.1063. So there is our present value at time zero. So at the end of the day, we can say that we're indifferent between this series of cash flows and this amount right here in hand today.